dramatic island of all, Robert Louis Stevenson's treasure island. And here, we shall take you ashore for a picnic lunch. <laughs> what I'm not quite clear about, Mr. Heath, is why you're so sure that this is the original treasure island. I'm uh, only quoting what the experts say, Miss Lomax. They seem convinced that it is. Why should there have been a real island at all? Stevens invented the story. He probably invented the island, too. Otherwise, surely he would have described all these fantastic boulders in those caves you were showing us. Uh, yes, of course, but he was writing an adventure story, not a guidebook, Miss Lomax. And it is also more than a local superstition that the fabulous Captain Kidd bedded quantities of his treasure somewhere around here. Well, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll take a stroll along the beach. Oh. How long will we be here? Oh, uh, half an hour, perhaps. Depends on the group move. Well, I'll be within hailing distance. I'm afraid your daughter's rather sceptical about my statements, Mrs. Lomax. <laughs> no, of course not, Mr. Heath. She wouldn't ask questions if she wasn't interested. No, I didn't have a map. No, I didn't have a map. Well, a chart or something. Otherwise, why did you dig here? Well, it was uh, guesswork, mostly. I, I, I found something. It's, it's not a rock, but I, I can't quite make out the, the shape. May I help? But it's a little crowded down here. It's a little dirty. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> you help me? Sure. Come on. Don't, don't touch it with your hands. I've, let me see. I'll show you where it is. Mm. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is the area. Let's just dig it out with our hands very gently. Very gently. Very, very gently. Uh, 500-year-old soup plate. This rate, I'll have a complete service. Why did they drink the soup, then bury the plates? Who? Oh. Well, the pirates, of course. <laughs> Look, nobody on these islands seems to believe it, but what I'm doing here is gathering evidence for a thesis on a war between two Indian tribes just before Columbus. Are you disappointed? Oh, no, not a bit, but... Uh, I don't think I believe you, though, not since I caught you digging on Treasure Island. Treasure what? Treasure... Why should, the, why should it be called Treasure Island? Then you think it's silly, too? Sure, the Stevenson just made that up. That's just what I told that pompous old boy, Harrison Miles, whatever his name is. He's, he's running the Caribbean tour. Arrowhead, Carib. That means that this was a battleground. I figured as much when I found no dolls or whistles in the strata above this. What does that mean? No toys? Hmm? No toys means no young children. And the reason for that is no men. You see, after the Caribs conquered Narawak tribe, they, they killed all the men and they took all the pretty women with them as, as slaves, leaving all the ugly ducklings behind. 
You see, and when <laughs> this kills me, when Columbus discovered these islands, you know, with all female populations, he thought he discovered the, the Amazon tribes of Greek mythology. <laughs> That's a fascinating story. When will you finish it? I'd like to read it. Theses? Mm -hmm. Theses not for being read. You, you put them in a Morocco binding and you file them away somewhere. Oh, that's a shame. But I don't think it'll happen to yours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's, a, that's the most encouraging word I've heard for ages. Would you like a, a, a drink? You... Oh, thank you. Tina, what on earth are you doing? Uh, digging. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm not going with you to Charlotte Watson tomorrow. What? I'm spending the day with Evan, the man I met this afternoon on the islands. Oh, really, darling? You don't imagine that jumping into a pit with a man constitutes an adequate introduction, do you? Well, I, I wouldn't have said so yesterday, but since I've tried it, I'd say it works fine. Do you find him attractive, then? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I suppose with the sand off him, he could be quite good looking. What are you going to do? We're going sailing. He's a very nice mother, really. I'm sure he is, and I'm sure you could have a lot of fun. But if you landed the Crandall account, it would be a tremendous start for you. Mother, when we get back to London, I'll report for work at night, and I'll try as hard as I can to be a good little working girl. But this is still my holiday, and I want tomorrow for myself. There's no need to be aggressive about it. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be. Listen, Dina. Your work tomorrow could be very important to you. But if a trip on a sailboat seems more so, then it's up to you. Well, the launch leaves tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Think it over. Thank you. Hi. Hi. It's fun. I don't believe in doing things that aren't, do you? Well, no, I believe in theory, but it doesn't always work out in practice. No, come on. I don't believe that. I shouldn't think you're the sort of person to be forced into doing anything you didn't want to do. And that's a pretty good guarantee of having fun. How do you make that out? Because you'll lead your own life and not one that's prescribed for you. I'd like to believe that. Well, I know it's true, that's all. Hey, you see that island over there? See that? That's old Blackbeard's. Not you, I own a bottle of rum. Yeah, you own a bottle of rum, that's the one ground property now. Well, is it big? Can we explore it? Ah, it's about two miles long. And as it's uninhabited, we'll just take possession. Hard over the tiller, Skipper. Let's wait. This way. No ferry services here. Just have to make do with my head and my shoulders. Oh. Come on, grab hold of my hand. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Yo, ho, ho, oh. and a bottle of rum. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Fifteen men on a dead man. You want to know something? We're not alone as I thought. What did you say? I said there's someone else on this island. Oh, no. Who? I don't know who she is. A young girl. She's naked. And uh, she was standing there like a goddess with her arms outstretched to the sun. And she was beautiful. That was me. Standing there. Oh, was it? That's all right, then. I should have hated the idea of anyone else snooping around the place. I thought you said this island was two miles long. Oh, yes, yes, but you see, I'm, uh, I'm just like Columbus. I, I didn't know where I'd landed, you see. I, th I thought this was Blackbeard's Island, but it's, it's not. See, Blackbeard's Island is right over there, just behind us, see? This is a tiny, wonderful island that's not even shown on the chart. You honestly didn't know? Oh, I crossed my heart and I hope to die. What do you think I did? Planned a peeping Tom operation? No. Just oh, goodness. Did you? Well, I would have if I'd known, but I didn't. Do you mind, Daryl? Of course not. What really matters is we discovered our own island. And what flag became? British or American? Well, come to think of it, I, I think I set foot on this island first. Ah, it's in British waters. All right, we'll keep it international. Ah! <laughs> 
By cracky, they can say that again. Uh-huh. Hello. Say home free, you have to announce it in advance. According to whose rules? According to the rules of this island. You got something to say about it, Queenie? Queens don't change laws anymore. I think I can concede the point. just stay here the rest of our lives, huh? Oh, what a wonderful idea. You know, it's always been a dream of mine ever since I'm about 10 years old to own my own island. But I must admit, the idea of sharing it with a girl didn't appeal to me too much then. You can't be very bright. Why? The whole point of getting away from the rest of the world to an island like this is sharing it with a person you love. But don't you think this would make an interesting place for you to work on your book? About the Arabs conquering... <laughs> <laughs> the Arawaks, the Caribs conquering the Arawaks. Uh -huh. You know, you're terribly good for my morale. You know that, don't you? But don't you think this would be an inspiring place to work? Oh, yes, inspirational. Inspiration versus the insects. There are sand fleas all over these islands. You know? I don't believe you. You know? I didn't feel any. Didn't. Not even when we were sitting over there in the sand. You did. Evan, look. There isn't a bite on me. Hmm. Me neither. <laughs> Tina, my love, I think our island's one of the few bugless ones. Bugless, birdless, peopleless. Just for you and me. All of it. Why don't we stay here the rest of our lives? We can't, I suppose. We can. You can't say you can't. You have to give a reason. I don't know this. There's my so-called career. I'm supposed to become a... A big cock in advertising one day. Well, that's not what you want out of life. What about marriage? What about children? What about family? I what about... that, too. But only after I've established myself in my own sort of work. Ideal marriage is between two independent people who come together as equals. You don't agree with that theory? No. Nope. I mean, it's a theory, sure, but um, is it your theory? <laughs> no. It's Mother's idea originally. Oh, mother's prescription. Well, I don't think anyone can prescribe a way of life for you, Tina. But I do think I love you. And I do you. How do you make sure? How do you make sure? Well, I could finance a trip to England, uh, court you every day for a couple of months, and... <laughs> but if we stayed here together on this island, just the two of us, it wouldn't take long to find out if we were mistaken or No, it wouldn't. No. That wouldn't be looked on as very acceptable behavior in Kensington. Or in Boston. Um, how long would it take us to get back to the ship? Best part of an hour and a half. We... We'd better leave now. Let's go quickly. Without saying any more about it. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Broadway can keep Charlotte Marley, even though you can get Scotch at a dollar fifty a bottle. I bought you a hat. Quite cute, really. Thank you, Mother. Aren't you going to look at it? It's really very becoming. Oh, darling, what is it? Is it that ridiculous beach coma? I suppose he got fresh and you had an awful time. I had a wonderful time. My dear fellow, it's no earthly use you're standing there looking like some sour, cheesed-off Romeo. Do something! What, for instance? Well, if I, I was the marrying kind, and I, I heard my choice. Choice between me woman and me up, but uh, couldn't afford birth, so took the up, naturally. Anyway, if she's as gay, beautiful, young, gorgeous, and all these rapturous things you've been yapping about, well, damn it, man, why don't you do something? Press, what, for instance, would you do? Didn't you just say that? Yes. And I'm still waiting for an answer, which you quite obviously do not have. What would you do? Well, I... 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 I listen, how long is it before that boat out there takes off? Exactly 25 minutes. Oh, no. Come on, come on, Press. Old Press, just brimful of ideas. No, no, hang on a minute. You've been sitting here like a moonstruck lily for the last half hour, and during that time you could have... Well, you could have bought the island, and you could have... Uh, Nipped in the jalopy and gone and popped the question. What have you done? You've done nothing. Don't be a clod. I don't even know the name of the island. Oh, well, we can soon fix that. It's... Hey, Joe, spare us a Yo. minute, will you? Joe, that's Joe, your... that island out there. Yeah, the one right in front of Blackfields. What's the name of that island? I don't know. But Marcus does. He knows every rock in the Caribbean. Uh-huh. Marcus! Hey, Marcus! <laughs> that sure is a big, booming voice way of calling for a man. Marcus! <laughs> I never hear you chanting in church half so eager, dear brother. <laughs> Mr. Preston would like to work with you. You gentlefellas asking after Marcus? Yeah, Marcus, what's the name of that island right in front of Blackbeard's? You know the name of that? Blackbeard's Belly Button, we call it. But the real name is Marina Key. And they do say that all the treasure in the world is buried on it, but I don't believe it because I took me a shovel there one time and I dug for a week until I couldn't stand it. I interrupt, but, 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 but do you know who owns it? <laughs> you gotta find me because I don't know what I'm talking half the time. Well, who does? <laughs> well, some people do. Now, you take some folk. They say good morning and it's the equivalent <laughs> no, I mean, of other Philip. Who does own the island? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, uh, Alexander Grant, and there he be where he sits all day long perching up there all the time. Mr. Grant, I want you to meet Mr. Evan Bond. He wants to have a few words with you. Mr. Grant, can I buy you a drink? Certainly. Well, what would you like? Beer. Beer. Okay. Uh, Marcus, here. Beer. 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 If you wanted to hold that boat out there for about two, half an hour or so, how'd you go about it? The cruise ship? Yeah. Oh, that ain't no kid's toy boat, you know. No, 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 I know, but that means, well, no more than half an hour. Got any idea? Yeah. Come on, then. But it would take me an hour to figure it out, and by that time, the boat is gone. <laughs> Mr. Grant? For your help, sir. Would you sell Marina Key? I mean, if, if it's out of the question, just say so. But if there's any chance at all, I have to know right away. You see, there, there, there's a ship that's sailing. Do you see? You wishing to police the treasure digging rights, is that it? You've been hearing wild tales? No, I want to buy it. I, I don't have time to explain why. There, there just isn't time. Is it for sale? I ain't got no use for it, that's sure. I never set foot there since I was about so high. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, how much would you sell it for, sir? Well, $85. Cheer up, old thing. This isn't the end of the world. I'll see you for a drink before dinner.
this myself. What have I done? Hey, Marcus! He's made it! He's got her! She died on the vault and swung to his bed. What do you know about that? Man, that's nice, eh? He sure don't have to go treasure seeking no more. <laughs> if a girl jumps in the water for him from that high, he must be pure as gold. <laughs> you reckon they'll be getting married today? To get? Well, I'd better go and get saved. Well, nothing for me, actually, Commissioner, but I wonder, I, we were wondering for the help of a friend of mine, Mr. Evan Bond. Uh, and, uh, and Miss Tina Lomax. Oh. <laughs> How do you do, Miss Lomax? How do you do? Mr. Bond, we have met. You're the archaeologist fellow, aren't you? That's right. My staff insist on calling you the treasure seeker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Commissioner, I hope we're not too late. We ran all the way from the jetty. Really? How tremendously energetic of you. Oh, excuse me, uh, press yes. moment. You know, until you become acclimatized, you should avoid overexertion. Uh, come along and sit down for a minute and relax. Uh, can I get you something to drink? Uh, perhaps you'd like a shower? Oh, no, thanks. I've just had a swim. Oh, I see. Well, now, what can I do for you? Well, uh, Commissioner, we, we'd, uh, oops. <laughs> we'd like to get married right away. Oh, well, I'm afraid that's somewhat irregular. You're not residents. Well, we are. We are. We just bought Marina Key, and we're going to live there tonight. But there's nothing on Marina Key. I mean, it's nothing more than a barren little island. It's the loveliest island I ever saw. No offense. I simply meant that there weren't many... Uh... Well, there's nothing there. Well, well, you see, Commissioner, that's just the point. We only have until dark to line up some, some kind of shelter to get some provisions at Pike's and uh, to uh, get a bed somewhere. Oh, it's out of the question. In the first place, there aren't any beds to be bought on Tortola. And in the second place, you can't set up house on an uninhabited island in a matter of a few hours. But we can, Commissioner. I mean, we will whether, whether you marry us or not. Won't we? Yes, we certainly will. So, so you see, sir, this innocent young girl is led into sin. It'll be all your fault. My dear Prescott. Good heavens, it's hardly my responsibility. Oh, yes, it is, Commissioner. Oh, and there's something else. Miss Lomax here is a British subject. And before you, you know it, you'll be condoning immorality in the British virgins. Right. Great Scott. Willie, really, I don't think that we can get out of... Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know you were in conference. Uh, come along in, my dear. I believe you've met Mr. Bond. Yes, oh, and uh, his wife. I beg your pardon, his fiancée. Uh, anyway, for the next half hour or so. Yes, on behalf of my fiancée and myself, I'd like to thank you for your cooperation and for your understanding, oh, sir. It's a pleasure. Yes. Now, my dear, if you'll take Mrs. Bond, uh, Miss Lomax, along to the guest room and dry her off a bit, will you? Thank you. Oh, you poor dear. Oh, how silly of me. I didn't notice in the confusion, in, in the excitement. But you're so king. Oh, come along. Do you know, my dear, I'm getting so absent-minded that I didn't even notice that it had been raining. But thank goodness, the garden's parched. It's the worst life we've had for ages. My poor flamboyance has not been sad. Uh, now, look here, yeah, Bond, I'll marry you with pleasure. Point of fact, I'm no alternative. <laughs> uh, but this idea of setting up house on an uninhabited island, well, I wish I could impress on you how impractical it is. I mean, for instance, where are you going to find a bed in Road Town? It's quite impossible. Don't look at the furniture, my dear. Simply ghastly. Fortunately, we haven't had a guest for years. Look at that dreadful Victorian chest. And as for that, words fail me. This way, my dear. Thank you so much, Commissioner. <laughs> God bless you both, but you're mad! You're insane! Oh, but I wish there were more like you. What fun life would be! <laughs> Hey, don't look now, but I think we're being followed. Heavens, there must be somebody's room in there. Yeah, I wouldn't have sell it. Not at any price. It's ours. What do you mean, it's ours? It's ours. I bought it. It isn't yours. No! Here comes the treasure seeker and his bride. Man, she mighty pretty, eh? But she got no veil. She not even in white. 
how the hell you expect a girl to jump over ship side for the love of a man and surface with white and a veil? She do that? Sure she did. Come on, play a nice little tune for them, eh? Like what, for instance? Like, uh... Dum dum ti dum 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 ti dum 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 ti da 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 dum ti dum. That is the most mournful tune I ever did here. Uh, well, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm telling you that's what them people play when they get married, you know. And then I'm telling you I never would get married. Well, they already got married. And if you want to give them something nice, play that tune. I couldn't play a tune like that, Marcus. That ain't no tune. <laughs> Listen, who brought your drums for you from Charlotte and Mali for nothing? You did that, Marcus. Then pay me by playing that tune. Now, come on, all of you. The bride is going to be here a long time. You can see her on belly button. And all the time we got is one minute. Now, come on. OK, boys. Let's give it a try. Come on. Now, how, how that tune go again, Marcus? Dum, dum, da dum, 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 da dum. Unloading first. Tide's coming up. You go to bed, darling. Darling. I don't think you need that, darling. This is wonderful. Wake up and find you build a home around me. Can I help you? No, stay with you. It's all done. I, I just want to rig up some kind of shelter because I didn't like the look of the weather. Can I make you some breakfast? Uh -uh. Time's our own here. There's nothing for you to get up for. Some coffee, then? Coffee? You are wonderful. <laughs> How do you know me so well? <laughs> you know where the coffee pot is? Mm -mm on the packing case, and so is a spirit lamp. Oh, 
tap awning. Darling? Yeah? Can you get me some water, please? Yeah, sure, honey. Incidentally, where do we get our water from? Oh, darling, I am nuts. I'm mad. I'm absolutely a screwball. There is no water on Marina Key. I'm hopeless. This should have been the first thing to think about. I'll tell you what we'll do. What? We'll both see water and condense the steam from the kettle. Oh. You won't be able to shave, but who cares? Oh, it'll take a week to get a teaspoonful that way. Uh-uh. Prescott was right. I'm an impractical idiot. Nonsense. Uh -huh. Anyone can forget a little thing like water. I did. Yeah, but I'm a man. I'm supposed to know these things. You remember to put up the awning for it started to rain. No, oh, you're sweet. Rain? Water! It's rain, Blimey! It's rain! It's rain! It's rain! Oh! Here! Ah! Oh, are you all right? I'm sorry, Tom. Here, make rivulets here. Make rivulets. There it is. Uh oh, maybe it's not for burning. get paid something while you're writing your thesis. Yeah. The value of the college grant. So we still have about a hundred bucks to come. I'll get a better degree, not much else. But if all else fails, I could always teach. Oh, yes, darling, I can see you. You're ideally suited to it. Look, Evan, you want to be a writer. What better place to start than here? How many stories have you had published? Just a couple of kid stuff. It'd be published at all is pretty good. You know, this morning I, I, I sat down there and I worked for hours, three hours, just to get an idea, even. And I honestly worked. I, I looked at those blank, empty pages, and I just knew that it was a challenge I couldn't meet. And this could go on for days, it could go on for weeks, it could go on for months. Darling, talk to Hemingway, Steinbeck, Elliot, any of them. Ask them if they haven't had their moments of doubt. Steinbeck, Hemingway, and Elliot, they're, they're established writers. Oh, yes, because they went through what you're going through now. They met the challenge. We can do anything, Emma. Anything if we really want to. Lena. I love you. Yes, I love you too. Darling, we don't have to keep up with the Joneses or anyone. We live rent-free on the island. We are free. Uh, 
how would you like to go for a swim? I'd love to. Come on. Oh. Come. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hey, wait a minute, my trunks. You don't need them. Come on. Honey? Yeah? Our outline's almost done. Oh, wonderful. Holly, you're a genius. Well. How many children did you decide on in the end? Uh, four. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Oh, yes, but you have some say in the matter. Your Majesty, that's very good of you to recognize that fact. Well, I just want to finish this because, uh, I want to make it formal. The end. I'll have to sail into town this afternoon, and we'll mail this. Mm. Oh, brother, there's gold in these air pages. Now we can concentrate on our personal life for a while. Now we can get started on our house. Well, aren't we perfectly happy here? We said from the beginning we were going to build a house on our island. Tina, my love, you have a deplorable urge toward middle-class respectability. Darling, until we have a roof over our heads and a cistern under the house, we'll never have enough reserve of fresh water. You said yourself we ought to get it stored before the dry season. Did I say that? Mm. That was rash of me. Uh... All right, uh, we'd better start some detailed planning. Oh. I did a sketch the other night based on the ideas you gave me. I figured out the total volume of concrete we'd need. You're quite sure you weren't trained as an architect just on the side. Quite. Huh? So will you be when you check these figures. Could you bring back some cement from road time this afternoon? Aren't you going with me? No, I thought I'd start digging the foundations. Today? Never put off tomorrow. Well, what, what you can do today. today. Huh? Dina, my love, what I don't understand is why the British Empire fell apart. Little lady all by herself? No. My husband's gone. He'll be back in a minute. He's... he's gone hunting. With a gun. Now, that's the most satisfying way to hunt with a gun, eh? <laughs> you don't mind my coming on this island? No, not at all. Why did you? I see you on your wedding day. And I know, like, the lines in my hand, this, this belly button. That's what we call this island here, you know. And uh, I figure that you are going to need somebody to do the odd jobs around this place. Now I know who you are. You were the conductor of the band. Oh, don't let the leader of the band hear you say that. He won't talk to me no more. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we didn't know that dude from nothing. Um. <laughs> but I know the trouble of digging ever since learning to walk. Well digging, house digging, treasure digging. This is like old times for me, you know. <sighs> Needs more pulling than a wisdom tooth. <laughs> but we'll get it. Let's try again, eh? We should save this for the rock garden. must be raw. My goodness, it's fantastic what you've done here. Oh, this, it's nothing. Um, trouble is there are a lot more boulders than I expected. A lot more boulders than you expected. Mm -hmm. Afternoon. Oh, uh. Marcus, so you're the miracle worker, huh? <laughs> Me and the little lady. She does it for the love of it. I do it for $2.50 a day plus 20 cents for the journey to and fro. Uh, what about your fishing? Well, I set the traps on the way in and I picked them up on the way out. Do we have a deal? No, um, uh, you have a deal for $1.75. $2. A uh, dollar, two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but not for today. Today is just a sample. No charge. No? It's on the house. On the house. Oh, on the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say your hours begin at nine and end at six, uh, at, end at five and an hour off for lunch, okay? Oh, you expect I should be here the same time every day, according to the clock? Sure, I expect it. What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, man, it stands to reason I gotta travel with the flow of the sea. If I travel with the sea flowing hard against me, I ride on top the same way, one hour, two hour, I never get by Camino Point. No, 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 no. Okay, no, why don't no, you no. decide your own hours? <laughs> <laughs> that's better, that's better. <laughs> well, the current looked like it suited for the journey back, so happy times to you both till I see you on the morning time. Happy times. Bye-bye, Marcus. Uh -huh.
He's a nice man, you know? Oh, he's the most hard-working, sweetest, politest... Wait a minute, now. I'm not such a slouch myself. Well, you see what I brought back to you from Rotown. Come on. <laughs> Ah, you see that? All the cement to be had on the island of Tortola. The rest will be delivered tomorrow to our very own pier. Do you think we can call that a pier? Oh, I think we can call it anything we like. We can even make up our own language and declare it the official one for this island. But I think it's a little bit of a door. Sounds Italian. <laughs> that sounds just like a donkey. Yeah, you're quite right, it was. Oh, isn't he sweet? He'll make a wonderful pet. Pet? Pet my foot, he's here to work, and the sooner the better. Let's get this pet ship on shore and unload it. Okay. Yup. Okay. All right, heave. Uh, oh, heave. Uh, we'll have to tip him out. Okay, I'll get the rope. Okay. You got it? Yes. Well, haul him out. I am, he won't budge. Well, don't be frightened to pull hard, honey. Frightened? Are you crazy? I can't pull any harder. Try coaxing him. <laughs> Eight bucks worth of donkey, and we can't even unload it. How did you get it on? I slung it on with a crane. <laughs> Double bed treatment. Oh, Lord, that means it's probably a musical donkey. You'll never stop praying. What do we do with him? We can't leave him here. Well, give me a hand, and we'll tip him out. Okay. Oh. Again? Again. Oh. Oh. If it was sinking, you wouldn't budge. We'll soon see. Okay. trouble there for a, a while for can we you... use brain over brawn brawn over brain now all we have to do is pull him up the hill okay <laughs> he'll be very useful keeping the grass down he'll be very useful hauling stuff up that hill <laughs> Regrets, etc., etc., on one of oh, my that short stories. Happens. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah, not unless it happens all the time. No word from your publisher about the book? No. You know how long that's been now? It's been weeks. Perhaps it never got there. Oh, it got there all right. I sent it registered airmail special delivery. All right, so one's been rejected. You've still got three more. To be writing at all while this has been going on is something. Darling, when the house is finished, it'll be ten times easier. Yeah, well, then that's just the point. This is the last timber. We are broke. Okay, so we live in a house with half a room. Oh, darling. Uh, that good old British sporting spirit. By Godfrey, I'll never sneer at it again. All right, now look, we're gonna have to make a lot of cut downs. Uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to let Marcus go. Is that all right? Okay. Hello there, good clip? Yeah. This is what we need. Uh, uh Marcus. Um, Something, will you let that, will you let that alone a minute, please? Uh, I'm sorry, but we can't employ you anymore. 
What's the trouble? We're broke, Marcus. We don't have any money. Then me and you are in the same boat. But we're not going to sink because we have no money. Maybe we all go fishing for a while, eh? Is there Mr. Evan Bond here? Yeah, that's me. There's a little bit of parcel I'm bringing you from Road Town. All right, I'll come get it. You better all come. It's not something you can put in your pocket. Something turn up or I look like a piano. <laughs> Be a great help. We don't play. All right, swing her over. Right, over the side, both of you. You ready, Dongda? Yeah. yeah. Well, here she comes. Take her a bit on each shoulder like she was a coffin. No, I'm giving you the lot. Okay? No. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, I'll have to carry the name myself. We'll never make it. Better you than me. Who's getting who here? Oh. All right, come on, Bimbo. No arms. Oh, boy. Up again. Up where? Keep her coming. Kitty, is this crazy? Uh, uh. I saw her Got it. Do you want to see what is in it? Hmm? <laughs> you know, if we're careful with this wood, we can use it on top of the roof. It's a nice box. Mm. It's from your mother. T -t 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 Tina and Evan with best wishes from Emily. That's very nice. Oh, that's lovely, Diane. I mean, she's forgiven us. And very nicely, too. Mm. Hey. There's no use. We have no electricity to run it on. Ah, so you're used exclusively with kerosene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, uh... Thank you for delivering the parcel, Captain. Whatever we owe you, we'll just have to owe you because, uh, as it so happens, we, we just don't seem to have any money and we don't know when we will have any. Well, that is the most honest spoken thing I ever heard. Perhaps, Mr. Bond, you'd do us a good deed in return. Hmm? Sure, anything we can do, we, we'll do. Maybe in the evenings you'll leave your hurricane lamp shining. Then we take our bearings and bring this loop around the bluff and through the channel. You, you mean kind of as a, as a navigational aid? That's right. That light might be saving us some night from losing our lives. Well, why do, why do you have to uh, sail at night? There are times when it's necessary to conceal oneself from the eyes of the government. <laughs> Tina! Come on, coffee's ready! It's coffee time. Hooray, hooray, hooray. It's coffee time. Look, Evan. What? How long has this been here? What? It's champagne. Champagne? It's impossible. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh, it is champagne. How'd you get here? Jason, Jason, the captain of that sloop. This is our reward for being amateur lighthouse keepers. But champagne? He, oh, he must be a wine importer or exporter. Yes, uh... Or perhaps a little of both. 
Je l'ai toi Je l'ai toi à cause. Alors Oh mon dieu to see the little dove gets progressing at an alarming pace. We thought you deserted us. You didn't expect me to volunteer for another term of hard labor in this penal colony, did you? <laughs> and where's that abominable donkey? Like you, shirking. Very wisely. <laughs> <laughs> well, being, as they say, financially embarrassed, I took a party of Americans from the Bahamas. Oh, a charter trip, huh? Um, hope you blood them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sold them for a few weeks' idleness, you know. That's why I'm so pleased you've nearly finished this palatial establishment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I've got some mail for you, too. Mail? Uh, yes, oh, it's yours. Oh, fine. Come on in. Thank you. Hey, you're getting fat, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well? Well. I say, this is going to be jolly nice. I'm glad to see the cistern idea worked out. It's so useful for that terrifying charade game that Americans insist on playing in every conceivable opportunity. <laughs> Eureka! What? what? We are made. We sold our story to the post. Oh! Nothing can stop us now. We are off now. Oh. Oh. Darling, this is our first check. You know, this is this is a special occasion. Uh, darling, do we happen to have any uh, champagne on ice? But of course, my love. Okay, my love. Champagne on ice. How you nouveau riche talk. Nouveau riche? Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> it is a fridge. And it's full of bubbly. You are the most extraordinary young people. Yes, I foresee a very great future for you two. Oh, oh. There we are. There we are. You believe in the grand precept that first things come first. First. <laughs> first go on. No, I haven't had any since VJ Day. Come on, you brute. Would you like to give me a ah. No, Joe! Oh, save the bones, Randy oh, Jones. Oh, glorious <laughs> graphics. Mine there we go. Just heavy, heavy. Yes, yes, a little more. That's it. <laughs> now then. Well, to Hemingway's rival. Many congratulations, young man. You know, um, I had a little thing published once. Really? Hmm. A sort of um, serial. A brilliantly worded announcement of my engagement, followed a week later by its cancellation. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, where'd you get the fridge from? Oh, my mother sent it. Oh, oh dear, that's ominous. Oh, ho, ho. beware the mother-in-law bearing gifts and all that. Uh-uh, Prescott, I will not hear one single word against my mother-in-law. After all, how many women would send a refrigerator to a man who swiped their daughter? A kerosene-burning refrigerator, remember that. Yeah, there's probably a catch in it somewhere. It's some um, symbolism. She's trying to convey the chill in her heart. Oh, poo. Evan. We're going to need that check from the magazine. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, we, we're going to need that. I mean, we'll need it for the timber for the roof, and we'll need more furniture. Mm. Our expenses are going up in other ways. Mother's coming to visit us. Aha! What did I tell you? Oh, my boy, you're just about to experience the curse of the islands. The visiting mother-in-law. Oh, Prescott. She has a right to visit her only child. Darling, you write back to her and tell her we'll be looking forward to seeing her in a couple of months when the house is finished, all right? But she's on her way. She's what? Now, wait a minute. She cannot do this to us. I mean, I mean, she might at least have the, 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 the decency to wait until the house is finished. Uh, she should have the decency to wait until the house is finished, shouldn't she, Press? Yes, and if only you could do something about the roof, it might be a little less sticky. Oh, yeah, the roof. That's another thing, yeah. It must be my fault. I must have written too glowingly about our progress. She says here, I, I can't wait to see you and Evan now that you have a roof over your heads. Well... <laughs> I shall be flying to New York, then on to Puerto Rico, landing there at 10 a.m. on September the 14th. I should be with you in Road Town, 2 p.m. the same day. Oh, uh, uh September, uh, that should give us some time. You're not still under the misconception that it's August, by any chance, are you? Holy, holy cats! This was, this was, uh, postmark from Boston, September 7th! Oh, my! Prescott, for heaven's sakes, what is the date? Oh, I don't know, but it must be very near the target. Well, this was on Boston the 7th of the Road Town, the 11th. The 11th? The 11th. Prescott, you must know the date. Well, why should I know more than you? Because it... Be, because he gets around more. You get around more than we do. Look, don't be a clock. I've been bouncing about on the ocean trying to catch sailfish for frustrated millionaires. Three weeks of that, you don't know what century you're in. Oh. Marcus, do you know what date it is today? Not just like that, but I reckon with a little calculation we can get near to it. Uh, last Sunday was... 12th Trinity, and that was the 8th. I know that because uh, we had steel band practice the night before. That was the 7th. And we got a, a weekly practice in tonight. What does that make it? The 14th. 14th. 
Oh, this is the end. P N D. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. Nothing. My mother-in-law's coming. That's all. <laughs> oh, man, that could be serious trouble. No water in the tanks and the barrels are low. But maybe it rained tonight, and it drenched everything, and everything be okay when she gets here. We're in for a sleepless night. Yes, but it doesn't rain often. Oh, well, that's a comfort anyway. Can I have a bath? Well, no, darling, not just yet. Well, how do you want? Do you see? My dear child. Oh, this is charming. I think you've done it beautifully. Peter! The cistern's almost full. Oh. oh, excuse me, Mrs. Lomax. But you have to see this. This is a masterpiece of engineering. I hope. I hope. Oh, yes, I was glad. <laughs> ladies, uh, oh. ladies, uh, you are about to witness the grand unveiling of the sister. Right for a second. Ta da! Excuse us, Mrs. Lomax, we get a little carried away. <laughs> it works, Mother. You see, we, we can stay up forever now. We've our worst problem yet, water. Oh, wonderful. I couldn't be more pleased. What? Uh, why don't you uh, get some champagne for your mother? We'll celebrate a little bit. It's a wonderful idea. Did I hear you say champagne? Yes. That's right. We've got cases of it. Wouldn't it be a good idea if you got a roof over your heads instead of frittering away your money on champagne? Mother, you don't understand. I certainly do not. You told me you'd finished your house, and instead I find you living under a... under a... under a hose pipe. Oh, Tina, I've tried, honestly, but... your mother hates me. She hates the island, she hates everything connected with me, excepting you. Well, here we are on common ground. We both love you dearly. It's more complicated than that. I can give her time. How long? I mean, how long is she going to stay? Oh, it's hardly a question one can ask any visitor, let alone one's mother. Yes, yes, you're quite right. Are Mr. and Mrs. Bond at home? No, as a matter of fact, they're not. They're out fishing. Oh. But I'm Tina Bond's mother. My name's Lomax. How, How do you do? do? My name's Carruthers. I happen to be passing during one of my tours of the parish, so to speak, so I thought I'd just drop in. I see. Well, do sit down. Uh, I'm afraid we're rather short of chairs on this island. In fact, everything's a bit rough and ready. Oh, I think what these youngsters have achieved is quite remarkable. Hey, you know, building a house, any sort of house on a virgin island, is no mean task. <laughs> I married them, you know. Did you? Yes. Really? How interesting. <laughs> I wish I could have been there. Was it a simple service? Oh, yes, quite an informal little ceremony. I suppose there was no singing. Uh, no. No, there wasn't much time to organize anything elaborate. <laughs> but it was a very happy occasion. Oh, I wish they were here. They'd have been delighted to see you. Well, as they're not, Mrs. Omax, I wonder if you'd mind giving these papers to Mr. Barn. Ask him to return them to me as soon as he can. Uh, sign, of course. Yes, certainly. Thank you so very much. Now, let me offer you a drink. Oh, oh nice. I'm afraid there is only champagne. Uh, that is, if you don't mind struggling with the cork. Champagne? Oh, my word, how absolutely wonderful. <laughs> yes, it's the island's main asset. And it gets supplied in the most delightful manner. Oh, really? How's that? I shall dine out on this story for months. It's quite simple, really. Everyone just has to shine a light, and then uh, every so often a sort of man Friday character delivers a case of bird <laughs> Isn't it charming, don't you think? Yes, it's enchanting. <laughs> Uh, who is this man Friday? I really couldn't tell you, except that he delivered a very large refrigerator I sent them. I see. And he was paid off, as it were, by shining this light at night. Yes, that's right. 
Oh, dear. This puts quite a different complexion on matters. I, I don't know if you're aware of it, Mrs. Lomax, but your son-in-law has been party to a highly illegal operation, aiding and abetting smuggling. Oh, delicious, nice and dry. Mr. Carruthers, I do hope you won't think me rude. But as a minister of the church, I should have thought this was way beyond your province. I'm not a minister of the church, Mrs. Lomax, but of the crown. Oh, no. I'm the administrator of these islands. Oh, dear, I have put my foot in this, haven't I? Oh, won't you have another glass of champagne? Uh, well, thank you. Mr. Carruthers, I do hope you won't take advantage of this purely social chat. Oh, my dear Mrs. Lomax, if I were to turn my back on every Mr. Nina that comes to my notice, no matter how social the chat, the administration would be utterly corrupt in no time at all. Well, what are you going to do? Well, as a result of first-hand evidence, I know what I should do, and that is to write a report, which might seriously prejudice your son-in-law's chances of gaining possession of Marina Key. Well, haven't you any sense of humour, any sporting instinct at all? Yes, I hope so. But when duty demands a certain course of action, no matter how unpleasant, it has to be done. Otherwise, taxes are unpaid, government officials are bribed, and the country goes to the dock. I've never heard such pompous nonsense in all my life. Pompous, possibly. But true, certainly. Good afternoon, Mr. Lomax. Would you tell Mr. Bond that I shall be back in a few days to see him? Darling, you clever people. What did old grandpappy want? Oh, something about some papers. I'm afraid I have a confession to make. Oh, that sounds ominous. What's the trouble? I've lost you the island, that's all. Oh, you've lost us the island. Tina, we better go look for it. Emily, where did you see it last? No, I'm serious. I'm not joking. Like an idiot, I told him about the champagne. You weren't serious. You mean you told him where we got it? Yes, I know it was silly of me. I realize that. Silly? It was a crazy thing to do. You must have been completely off your rocker. Listen, Evan, I have no intention of being spoken to like that by anyone. Evan, you are getting rather hot under the collar as well as being extremely rude. Yes, maybe I am jolly rude. But who wouldn't? When months of work, your house, your home, everything goes flying out the window because your mother-in-law won't keep her mouth shut. I think you're the most insufferably rude young man I've ever met. What you think of me, Mrs. Lomax, leaves me cold. But what you've done to us can make me pretty boiling mad. I know this is going to happen. The minute a mother-in-law walks in the house, boom, you're in trouble. Stop it, Evan. How dare you speak to my mother like that? How dare you stop it, both of you? Tina. Leave her be. It's time you and I cleared the air anyway. <sighs> I'm sorry to interrupt you, Evan, but I would like to have a talk with you. Oh, uh, well, sure. You mind us uh, sitting on swing? No, not at all. These last few days haven't been easy for any of us. You know, lots of things have been said that are best forgotten. So I think we'd better try to clear the air a little if we can. Fine, I'm uh, more than willing. Very well, then. My first question. Do you think you can sit under a turpentine tree, completely cut off from the world, and make a living as a writer? What do you mean by living? I hope we're not going to hedge too much. I mean a respectable income. What a man needs to support his family decently in London or New York. Well, uh, we, you see, we, we don't have those kind of expenses. We're doing all right by Marina Key standards. I hadn't noticed that there were any. How long do you think you can go on working in this splendid isolation? A writer needs intellectual stimulus and experience of life and living to draw from. A writer needs concentration and quiet, and this island is marvelous for that. You're part of the world, whether you like it or not. Yes, our world. One we're making for ourselves. We try to live every moment fully, where we don't rely on television to kill time for us. Your requirements, Evan, may be very few, but you might at least think of Tina. She's a very talented and capable person, and she's wasting her time. Yeah. Uh, making a home and a marriage is not generally considered to be a complete waste of a woman's time. I can see it is a waste of time trying to reason with him. Uh, I, I think I can see reason as well as the next guy. I love your daughter. I think I can make her happy. You can't blame me for defending what I believe. I respect your views, Emily. I just can't help it if I disagree with them. I'd be glad if you'd take me into Road Town as soon as I've packed. I'm leaving on the morning plane. I'm sorry to hear that. I had no idea. I hope you have a more pleasant journey than when you first arrived. Well, I'm sorry that you and I didn't hit it off better, Emily. 
Well, I guess there's nothing else to say. Except I'm, I'm sorry that I blew my top the other day, too. Oh, that's all right. I find that easy to understand. Thank you, though, for saying it. Come on, you two. Tea's ready. Well, with more sailing to do, I think I'll skip tea and go and pack. Evan's taking me to road town. But, Mother, you're not leaving. Why? Why so suddenly? We haven't even discussed it. I've got to leave sometime. There's no point in discussing it days beforehand. Well, will you excuse me? I, I'll see you a little later, Emily. Now, you have your tea while I go and sort myself out. Can I come and help you? No, I want you to stay. Really, I mean it. Evan! Why is she leaving? What have you been saying to her? I suppose you were horribly rude again. Now, don't you start, for heaven's sakes. This used to be a peaceful island. But what happened? I suppose you started getting aggressive. Now, what do you think you're being now? I, I didn't say anything to upset her. We had a very quiet, frank talk. And I, I, uh, I think we understand each other better now than we ever have. I apologize to her for blowing my top the other day, and I think she realizes now that I consider your happiness to be just as important as she does. Uh-oh. Here comes more trouble. Well, he didn't waste much time, did he? All right. Welcome to Marina Key, Mr. Carruthers. Afternoon, Mark. Hello, Commissioner. Hello. Will you have a cup of tea with us? Thank you. A very quick one. I wish this could be a happy social occasion, but unfortunately, my visit is official and rather far from social. Mm, I realize that, but I don't think you quite understand about the champagne. That was done in all innocence. Was it? Well, then perhaps you'll explain it. Well, you believe that one good turn deserves another, don't you? Well, theoretically, yes. Well, so do I. You see, there was a certain character that went to a lot of trouble for us, and we couldn't pay him. So he just simply asked us to shine a light for him, that's all. But didn't it occur to you to ask him why? No, I can't say that it did. Oh, did come it? now, Mr. Barnes. You've been long enough out here to realize that this whole area is a hotbed of smuggling. Indeed, a carefully worded warning was given to you with your work permit for your researches. Yes, that's, that's true. And yet, at the first opportunity, what do you do? Well, there's certainly no law against shining a light on one's own property, is there? No, but it isn't your own property yet. Well, supposing it were. There'd be no law on earth to stop us from floodlighting the place if we wanted to. No, but you wouldn't expect to receive cases of champagne for it, would you now? No, I'm sorry, I have no choice but to report the matter to the Attorney General. And I'm afraid that he'll be forced, under the Land Holding Registration Act, to turn down your application for possession of Marina Key. He can try. But this island's ours. We bought it, we built our house on it, and we're going to keep it. And what's more, we... Now, darling, please, j just let me go on. We're not leaving this place. We'll fight. We'll fight you on the beaches, we'll fight in the hills, we'll fight any place. Evan, Darling, let me point? handle this. Carruthers, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, arraying all the power of the law against two defenseless, peace-loving people. No, 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 no. Nor no, no, no. we'll rally public support against the persecution of two innocent householders. Three. Darling, please, let's not interject statements that we can't support. But I can support it. I'm having a baby. She's having a baby. Darling. <laughs> Oh, uh, excuse us, please, please. My congratulations. Oh, thank you. That's happy news. Yes, thank you. I'd offer you a cigar. I just don't happen to have one. That was a nice thought, anyway. <laughs> thank you. But if you'll take my advice, you'll abide by the decision of the Attorney General. Would your Attorney General fight an innocent baby? No, 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 no. But to try and resist would be insane. Insane? Hmm. And George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, they were insane, too. What have those distinguished gentlemen got to do with this? They fought the British Crown, didn't they? And they won. They won because their people stood united against a foreign tyranny. You're forgetting this is British soil. Not anymore, it isn't. How do you make that out? We declare independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Evan, why did we write our own declaration? That's a wonderful idea. Yes, we'll write our own declaration, and we'll send it to your authorities in Antigua and... Uh, and uh, uh, London. London, that's right, London. And uh, we'll go to the United Nations, darling, and see what they have to say about the rights of oppressed minorities. Darling, you are marvelous. <laughs> Well, I think that just about sums it up, Carruthers. We'll be in touch with your government in due course. Good day, sir. I should never have married you. Oh, there's no island called Marina Key marked on this map. Nevertheless, it exists, sir. I found it on a list in the files. I'll find it on this map. Oh, it's near a larger island called Beef. Beef? Yeah, B W F. Well, there's beef. Yeah. I was a little to the north, I think. Oh, there we are, sir. Marina Key. Ah. Thank you. Hmm. 
And what grounds do these people wish to separate from the crowd? Well, they think they're ready for self-government, sir. Among other things, they say that a 50% increase in the population is anticipated in the coming year. How many names are there on that preposterous declaration? Only one, sir. Claims to speak for the entire population. Crank, obviously. Pilot. Yes, sir. He says here, in view of the Monroe Doctrine ruling on self-determination for the Western Hemisphere, we feel the United States government should be informed of the situation. Signed, Evan Bond, Marina Key. You know, uh, this calls for another note to London. What do you think? More emphatic this time? Yeah, polite inquiries get us nowhere. Washington maintained that they queried us about this Marina Key issue weeks ago. Quite so, Secretary of State. We have been endeavoring to assemble the facts. If Mr. Paramore might be permitted to give us the result of his findings... Well, go ahead. Marina Key is off the east end of Tortola in the British Virgins. Last year, a couple named Bond purchased and made application for a deed to the island, which comprises some eight acres in area. Pardon me, but are you saying this issue concerns two people on an eight-acre island? That is correct, sir. Then what in blazes is this talk about a significant increase in the population? Mrs. Bond is anticipating an addition to the family. Gentlemen. Really. Think you should? Yes, I feel fine. Well, I mean, I, you, well, if you'd want to, fine. Thank you. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think I, I dropped a couple of stitches, honey. Well, pick them up again. Pick them up again. Pick them up again. Hmm? Do you think it's going to appreciate all the work we're doing in its room? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't count on too many demonstrations of gratitude for the first few months. <laughs> May I come in? Dr. McNulty here. Oh, hello, Doctor. Come on in. We're in the nursery. Morning. Interesting division of labor around here. Oh, do you like it? I, I think I'll uh, add blue cuffs and pearl the oak and pastel green, all right? Excuse me, you want your hat, uh, I've, uh, I've revised my estimate. Make it three weeks instead of five. Right, right. Then, then I'll reserve the room on the 10th. I want her there at least a week before the, there's any chance of it arriving. Oh, yeah, a good idea under the circumstances. Right. Oh, wonder. Uh, try taking some of the heavier work off her hands, will you? Yes, I'll, I'll try and do that, Doctor. Good. Trouble is in this thing, the carburetor. Yeah, I was afraid of that. How long do you think? I don't know. I think I take it with me to the workshop in East End, and they have it fixed maybe by tomorrow. All right, tomorrow now. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Doc, he happy with your miss? Oh yeah, yeah, she's fine. She really is. <laughs> you know, soon this island have everything it needs. Happy people and happy children and good times ahead. Eh? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> happy. <laughs> I'll see you, Marcus. Take good care of that, huh? Goodbye. When did it happen, honey? Just after the doctor left. You should have told me. I could have called him back. I didn't think anything of it, even though it did hurt. But it's done the trick, I'm afraid. Are you sure it's a real thing? Yes. Well, I, I can't be sure. I'd never been through it before. All right, I'd know, but... Oh. Oh, oh poor sweetheart. Is it very bad? No, it... 
just like a bad attack of wind, only worse. Well, look, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get you into road town, all right? Mm. And then if it turns out to be a false alarm, we'll, we'll let you stay there anyway, all right? Okay. Okay, honey. Uh, let me just get this off. Okay, baby? Mm. All right, honey. Come on, ask me. I'll get you into your thing here. How are we doing? Oh, uh, not so well. We've only gone about 500 yards in the last half hour. By the way, the tide is going to change with us, and we're, it's going to be... Are you getting worse? Is there a false alarm? Not a breath. No, not even a... I guess we'll have to whistle for a wind, huh? <laughs> well, you never know when a breeze might come up. Yes, that's true. <sighs> to hurry, though. There'll be three of us in this boat. Now, listen, sweetheart. I'm gonna get you there. I'm gonna get you there in time. What's the plan, darling? I'm gonna anchor you here and swim for Marcus. With a bit of luck, he may have repaired the outboard. But he's miles away. No, he's not. He's about a half a mile abeam of us. Oh, Evan, you know we agree we never swim as far out to sea as this. You, you said yourself there were sharks in these waters. Darling, they, they wouldn't attack you unless you are in bad shape. Besides, darling, we haven't seen a shark in these waters in months. Evan, I don't want you to go. Please, darling, will you listen to me? Honey, we just can't sit here and wait for our baby to appear. I don't know when a wind may come up. It may take hours. Evan, I've never asked you to do anything before, but I'm asking you now. Don't go, please. Stay with me. If you go, I shall be scared out of my life, and... Please, Evan. Darling, if I were a midwife, I'd be delighted, but I'm not. You may need a little help with your first baby, okay? I'm gonna get it for you. Please. Look, I love you, you know that? I'll be back before you know it, now don't you worry. that brings you here? Yeah. Tina's out and out on the channel. The wind died on us and the baby's coming. Is there a power boat we can borrow? Oh, not tonight. Big night in Rotan, all the boats gone there. This, this is the only power we have and my boat is the only thing that's left. Well, how long? I don't know, I don't even know if it will work. All right, well, 
If it doesn't work, then, then you'll row out to us. At least we'll get her back in the show. I've got to go. Wait a minute. We'll find out if it works in a few minutes. No, I've got, I've got to swim out to her. What for? What do you risk to swim? I've got to be with her. Well, in a minute, we'll know if it works or not. And if it don't, we'll go out together. Business, would you accompany us, please? to have to point out to you that you're trespassing on our property. Guilty but unrepentant. This visit is official but quite social. This is, this yes, is it? Go on. <laughs> I'll read it. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. This island's ours. Yes. It's ours. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Won't you come up and have a drink with us? Uh, uh, Tea? Ah, <laughs> no, thank you most kind, but I really must get back. Don't bother to come down to the boat. I know you're busy. Uh, by the way, how are Mrs. Bond and the infant? Flourishing? Oh, they're flourishing, yes, Oh, good. I'm so glad. Come on up and see us again. Uh, indeed, I'd like to very much. Please give Mrs. Bond my regards. I will. Thank you for everything. Go bye, Mrs. Bond. Bye. Marcus, you want to hold her for a minute? Thank <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a that, that's a good one. That's that's the one. Wait a minute now. That's that's really the one. Uh, 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 Ruthie, Ruthie, come on over here. Huh? Just, come on, sweetie. Come on. Just can you put your arms around her? Just get no, up close. Just get up close there. All right, ready? Here we go. Smile. <laughs> Perfect. You know, Ruthie, I think we should get married sooner than we had planned. I think I'm gonna like this business of being a father. You know. You and me getting married when we can have our own place. Not with all the shouting and the crowding of the folks at home. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, let Sweet. me just... Can I get just one more? Darling, she's going to bed. <laughs> yes. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Hello, pretty baby. Yeah. Is something wrong? What? No. No. no, incidentally, here are the deeds to Marina Key. It's ours now. Oh, darling. Mm. Well, I must say, you seem just radiant about it. You should be walking on air. Yeah, well, uh, well, I can't stop thinking about that night. And the baby in the boat. It was pretty rough on you. And what your mother said keeps popping into my mind. You see, we can't go on living on an island indefinitely, set apart from the rest of the world, you know. You mean you want to leave here after all we've done? Yes, possibly. Sell it? No, no, Marina Key's our home. It always will be because of what it's done for us. But we're different now, you know? When do we leave? Uh, whenever we're ready. Oh, Marcus. Oh, Ma uh, uh, well, uh... We owe him a lot. Yes, we do. We owe him a lot. Marcus? Ruthie? Marcus, you and Ruthie want to get married, and uh, you need a house. Well, while we're away, 
we'd like very much for you to take care of Marina Key for us. Uh, house and home thrown in. But you're not leaving, surely. Oh, uh, no, only half the time. And while we're away, we'd like you to build a house here. Remember what you said? Remember? You said that Marina Key has all at once town. Happy people, happy children. How about, how about you two contributing a bit? <laughs> well, uh, I know what I'm feeling, you know, but I don't know what she's feeling. <laughs> I know one happy child is getting spoilt already. Inside, madam. Wonder what kind of a guy she'll marry. Oh, she'll meet someone in the sand pit one day. That's where you find the best husbands.